Even celebrities can't deny the magic of Harry Potter. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity Harry Potter fans. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the celebrities that can't get enough of the wizarding world. Number 10. Niall Horan You may recognize Niall Horan for his solo work or as a former member of One Direction, but you should also recognize his love for Harry Potter. In 2010, he went to the premiere of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and tweeted his excitement all the way through. Horan really proved his dedication in 2014 when he put on a costume to go undercover as a candy salesman at Universal Studios' Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Hello, welcome to my store. Welcome, girls. Hello. It's clear that this pop idol is a huge fan. Number 9. Shirley Manson Musicians just seem to love Harry Potter. Shirley Manson, lead singer for the alternative rock band Garbage, showed her love for the series during an interview with The Scotsman. She revealed that if she could be any character, she'd be series favorite Hermione. That felt good. Manson also named her rescue dog Vila, after a magical race of beings in the Harry Potter universe. As an added bonus, the singer is from Edinburgh, which happens to be where Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling moved to with her daughter in 1993. With her love for the series and music credentials, is it too much to hope that she'd make an alt-rock wizard album? Number 8. The Royal Family You know a series is magical when the royal family takes time to appreciate it. Back in 2013, Prince William, Kate Middleton and Prince Harry took 500 fans from local charities to visit Warner Brothers Studios in London. Harry and William got into the flying car from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, William and Kate dueled each other with wands, and all of them met up with J.K. Rowling herself. At the end of the tour, the royal three got specially made wands, while the franchise got a royal blessing. Number 7. Margot Robbie You oh, no, love Harry it. Potter. I do. Yeah. As Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie played a villain that loved the insane Joker. But she may actually be crazy in love with Harry Potter. Robbie saw Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in London and lied on the famous Pottermore quiz so she'd be sorted into the Gryffindor house. Better be Gryffindor! But her most revealing fan moment came when Jimmy Kimmel showed a picture of a 13-year-old Robbie with glasses reading a Harry Potter book, despite the fact that she had perfect vision and lied to her parents just to get glasses like Harry. I went to like the optometrist and I was like, no, I can't see that. Oh, my eyes are... <laughs> with more Potterverse films on the way, maybe we'll see Robbie take up a wand for a future role. Number 6. Liam Payne Payne is another former member of One Direction that has history with Harry Potter. He proved that he was a Gryffindor through the Pottermore quiz, tweeted about wanting to be Harry, Potter not Styles, and Instagrammed a picture of his Harry Potter birthday cake, complete with the trademark glasses and golden snitch. But Payne's biggest sign of fandom was his purchase of a blue Ford Anglia, the same make as the Weasley's family car seen in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I think we found the train. Yeah. The car now rests in his garden, where it can be a constant reminder that Payne loves Potter. Number 5. Ezra Miller Whether he's writing Dumbledore's army still recruiting on his shoes, or giving a quick magical history refresher, Ezra Miller's more than proven his love for the Harry Potter franchise. Dumbledore won that wand in a famous duel with the most dangerous dark wizard prior to Voldemort. If you don't know this, I'm upset with you. His name was Gellert Grindelwald. His magical journey started at the age of seven when he first read the books. But to the envy of Potterheads everywhere, he actually got to join the wizarding world himself, portraying Credence Barebone in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Away from the film set, Miller puts a lot of stock in what his Hogwarts house would be to the point that he hasn't even taken the Pottermore sorting quiz on the off chance he might get Slytherin. I want to have the opportunity to be like, not Slytherin, not Slytherin, you know what <laughs> right. I mean? Look out, Ezra Miller takes Potter very seriously. Voldemort, I know that one. Josh, dare not speak the name of the Dark Lord. Number four, John Green. When author John Green isn't making us cry with stories like Paper Towns, he's showing his love for Potter. Green, a proud Hufflepuff, has published multiple YouTube videos about the series, full of interesting facts and encouraging messages. Because nerds like us are allowed to be unironically enthusiastic about stuff. His family loves the series too, 
with his brother Hank singing original Harry Potter-related songs at LeakyCon, and his kids being introduced to the books by their excited dad. But more importantly, it's at a Harry Potter conference where Green met Esther Earle, a cancer patient who inspired him to write The Fault in Our Stars. I'm so excited I can barely breathe. <laughs> I suppose the normal. Earl passed away in 2010, but her legacy lives on in Green's works and videos, a friendship that began with one magical series. Number 3. Ariana Grande Singer Ariana Grande has enough love for Harry Potter to fill multiple entries. On social media, she's shown off her custom Dumbledore jacket, the time she got her grandmother a Harry Potter scarf, and when she named her new dog Sirius Black. In her free time, Grande has tweeted about playing Harry Potter Seen It, reread all of the books, attended a live concert with music from the first movie, and of course went to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Grande once said that watching the last film was basically the end of her childhood, a statement that makes her both relatable to fellow Potterheads and shows that she's under the franchise's spell. It's kind of like confirmation that my childhood is officially over, because it's been like more than 10 years, I think. Number 2. Ivana Lynch You're just as sane as I am. Ivana Lynch's relationship with Harry Potter may be the most inspiring. At just 11 years old, Lynch struggled with an eating disorder. The Potterverse helped her through, and while in a hospital for treatment, she was given time to pick up a signed copy of the fifth Harry Potter book and wrote letters to J.K. Rowling, who wrote back with messages of support. Years later, without Rowling knowing, Lynch auditioned for the fifth Harry Potter movie and got the part of the quirky Luna Lovegood, enchanting audiences in four films overall. Lynch said that the series' characters helped her overcome her struggles and embrace who she truly is. And Luna especially inspired me because I, I think I, a lot of my problems were because I felt odd, I felt weird, mm. and um, she made me want to, to, to see that that was okay and that was actually mm. empowering. Before we conjure up our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Feel free to bring Professor Snape. Come by, we'll play some late night Quidditch. Number 1. Darren Criss Any fan can make fun of a series, but few can create a global phenomenon in doing so. In 2009, Criss partnered with his theater group Starkid Productions to create the parody show A Very Potter Musical. Chris even starred as Harry Potter himself. Can't take all of these muggles, but despite all of my struggles, I'm still alive. After posting the show recording online, the video went viral and racked up millions of views. Even after Chris landed a recurring role on Glee, the musical grew, spawning two successful sequels and many adoring fans. Chris may not have starred in any of the films, but as a fan, he helped create an iconic version of Harry Potter. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.